Welcome back. So today's vlog is the last of four vlogs I made in Saudi Arabia. Before the video, I want to share with you a few things about Saudi Airline. This airline has 150 airplanes in the fleet. It's quite a large airline in the Middle East with a young fleet, five years old average age. But not very well known airline because of maybe Saudi Arabia wasn't open before in the past. Saudi isn't quite Emirates. Their business model is not transporting Western passengers through their mega hub connecting around the world. In fact, Saudi is a quite a conservative airline. There is a prey area at the back of the 777 and 787 airplane on Saudi. And also, Saudi never serves alcohol on their flights. Uh, if you must drink, then Saudi is not the airline for you. So, so far in the kingdom, I've flown their short haul flight from Dubai to Riyadh and also domestic to Jeddah. And today is actually flying their smallest plane, A320, on a six hour long haul flight to Geneva. It's actually a uh, very elaborate long haul signature service. I'm not here to endorse Saudi or try to tell you to fly Saudi, they're very good. But I had actually a very pleasant experience and I want to show you exactly what I got in the video and hope you enjoy together with me. Back at New Jeddah Terminal, flying to Geneva. There's actually a train here that takes you directly to the gates. They're still trialing the train, so at the moment it's a walk. Right now, not all the gates have been open, so it's a rather short walk. But uh, by quarter one, when all the gates open, with the APM, the mobility mover, the train should take you all the way to your gate. Currently, very few flights are using the international pier. Only select the Saudi and European flights and golf flights and also Etihad. So uh, when I came here, it feels like I own the whole terminal. There's hardly anyone around inside the terminal. So I'm flying out of new terminal for the first time, flying A320 to Geneva today. Oh there. Oh there. Yeah. Oh, there's a chef on board today. Hi, Chef. How are you? Uh, may I assist you with your luggage? No, I'm okay. Hi. Hi, hello. How are you? Good, good. good. Nice. Very nice. Good morning. Four. This is my seat. I must say I'm very surprised. I was not expecting a fully flat bed on a small airplane like A320. Um, I was expecting a regional kind of configuration, but didn't know Saudi has now fully flat beds on A320. Good. So my name is Shiraz and I'll be at your service today. Okay. May I offer you some fresh juice? Yes, sure. All right, so we have uh, lemon, we have carrots, we have antioxidant that has mango, uh, strawberry and cranberry. We have also uh, orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I have the antioxidant one. Perfect. Yeah, thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Right Inshallah. So from Jitta to Geneva. It's going to be expected by the about 360. It's going to be smooth fly. And at the uh, uh, time, inshallah, it's going to be six hour flying time. And uh, cruise level 360. Enjoy the flight and thank you for choosing Saudi Arabia. Hello again. Hello. Please enjoy the antioxidant and a hot towel. And where are you from? Ah, I'm half Tunisian, half Moroccan. Alright, thank you very much. To me, I think Saudi has really good in-flight service, but I also expect the ground service to be more improved, to be polished, and to match the same consistency level of service. Would you like to try our finest dates? So we have sukkari with dates, ajwa from Medina, mabroom, and we have sukkari with orange peel. Let's have one, yes. Thank you. That's amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, the text you are about to hear is a supplication which Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to pray upon traveling. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah, you sakhara hadha.
see little corals. It looks like Maldives out there, and then there's you know rock the mountain in that backdrop. Very scenic route so far out of Jeddah. I make videos, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have to send yeah. Us I'm gonna say, yes. just walk back to the end of the A320. It's actually very short. There's only um, 90 seats here. A very small section of the coffee. Large section of business oh, class. Here, I met a lot of girls here. Where are you guys from? Greece. Oh, from Greece. Yeah. You're getting holidays. Yeah. Oh, so you live in Jenna? Yeah. Do you like Jenna or you don't like Jenna? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So the camera, yeah. you say nice things. <laughs> I usually prefer big airplanes, Dreamliners, 777s, and bigger airplanes because I always think bigger airplanes have better legroom. I'm pretty surprised that the A320 from Saudi also have very good legroom. Thank you very much then. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty unique. Not the usual nuts. This is uh, feta cheese, beetroot, and uh, pina colada. Non-alcoholic, of course. Very abundant, very, very rich meal. Thank you. Please enjoy your rest of the good English. Just come on, please, and have a nice one. Long and good luck to you.
on the final landing in Tajima. just landed back to the cold getting my sweater out. Um, Saudi had really surprised me. It was a great flight, a great product on the A320. There's a little tip I want to share with you. If you have Sky Team Miles or Saudi Sky for Saudi Al for some miles, it's very, very easy to use the miles to fly Saudi business class. I think Saudi has great potential with the new Jetta terminal open. There's a lot of great connectivity between Europe and Asia, so there's a great potential. I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching.